Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on the same difficulty. The arms are all set to nightmare speed. We play on a map that is made up almost entirely of the Wasteland biome. Uh, all right. Uh, generated by the Nitrogen World Generator, I should add. So we are... Uh, I was just in the process of doing another Lodge, uh, Tier 3 Lodge Fetch and Clear quest. I uh, already did that, like, one or two episodes ago for you, so I wasn't going to... Wasn't going to bring you back uh, this soon until I finished it, but uh, I was going through and look what I finally found. The uh, 4x4 accessory schematic. I'm very happy now that I didn't spend 40,000 coin and buy, you know, to buy that, uh, the 4x4. I think it was like the last, maybe the last uh, cycle, maybe last two cycles. Anyway, so we found that and that means we can now make the 4x4. We have all of the ingredients, all of the knowledge, everything we need to make that. So I will be working on that for sure uh, when we get back to the base. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I'm just kind of going through doing another fetch and clear. Like I said, uh, this is another lodge. This is the one we did uh, a couple episodes ago, and this one's just a little further up the road here in the wasteland biome. So um, the one problem I'm having, though, is that I'm almost out of space. I've already filled my bike's inventory completely up. Uh, so I don't have much room left, so I'm probably going to have to do a drop chest uh, to continue on and finish this place out. Uh, there is a lot of loot in this place, though. Just, look at that. Just lots of loot. So, um, yeah. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll just keep you with me since uh, we're partway through now. And uh, But we are going to need to put a drop chest down because <clears throat> I'm just not going to have room for all this stuff. And then, you know, at some point later on, I'll come back and pick everything up uh, that we that we leave behind all right let's also set this over here so it's a little bit away from the uh you don't actually want those because we started farming so let's see we can put those there we can put those there we actually have some glue here that we can use to huh <sighs> I'm, I'm really tired today, <laughs> so I'm not thinking straight, uh, that we can use to make some duct tape. So let's do that. Okay. Whoa. Oh, that scared me. I saw something moving. I'm going, what in the hell is that? All right, we don't need this. We don't really need, really need that either. Let's just see if we can get rid of a couple of things to save some space. This is worth 160, but I think I'm just going to scrap it. Same here. That gives us a little bit more room. Uh, we can put the duct tape in there. I think I'm going to just throw the rest of that cloth out. Uh, we don't need the leather. we got plenty of leather. I want to keep that. want to keep that. We'll put the, the shrooms in there. We'll probably end up drinking that before it's all said and done. And uh, this we can stack there, and we'll put that in its place. So we're, we're getting a little bit of room back, but... We still have we still have a fair amount of stuff to loot. So, uh, all right. So let's do this. Let's put. Do I have any coin? Oh shit! I just picked that stuff up again. Do I have any coin in here? No, I don't. Okay. So let's put the coin in here and the food stuff. And let's see the brass and the paper. That I'm probably going to get more of that. Might as well put those in there too, since we picked them back up. And that and that. Okay, we'll see how we'll see how we do with that. So that that this is all completely full. Okay, all right, let's head on back in. I be pretty much just finished the uh, the ground floor, but we haven't gone through the basement yet. So let's do that next, and then we'll go upstairs. There's a few things down here we can loot. So, but we'll move through this quickly because, like I said, you've already seen me do this. Uh, this place at least once before it is it is like I said though it's a very good place to loot because man there is so much stuff all right let's see if we got any water in there nope 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 whoa that gets me every time it scares the hell out of me okay there's probably going to be a zeker in there let's go in here first there's another water cooler we can check and a secret compartment a couple trash thingies Cowboy hat. Yeah, we don't need that. 
We're going to scrap that. Scrap, 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 toss. Um, that I'm going to scrap too. Just because we already have a couple of those. We don't need gunpowder. I've got thousands and thousands of gunpowder back at the base. Uh, you know what? Actually, I don't, we don't really need any iron either. I got tens of thousands of that stuff. So, just so we can uh, save space, we will not take that. Alright, let's just check in here really quick. Okay, so let's see. This is, sells for 95 or it scraps into 13 leather. Um, let's get rid of that. One feather? Nah, I don't think we're going to keep one feather. This we can turn into duct tape. Okay, let's, let's go with that. There's usually a spider in here. Oh. Sounds like a frickin' uh, white. That's because it is a frickin' white. Oh, he dropped a bag for us. Nice. Okay, what do we got? A little trick on how to sometimes get... Oh yeah, honey when harvesting trees. Nice. Oh, this is all pretty good loot all, all together. Okay, let's take that. We will repair that and sell it and make a few hundred buckarooskies. More ammo. Any toilet pistols? Nope. Check this, check this, check this. Okay. All right, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, scrap a doodle these, get rid of that. We were going to scrap that too, weren't we? Oh, you know what? 112. Yeah, you know what? I keep saying, you know what, don't I? <laughs> Sorry. Well, I, I like really tired. It's actually about 3.30 in the afternoon, but <clears throat> I got up earlier this morning and started work and just haven't been sleeping very well lately, so I'm kind of all messed up my circadia rhythm. Anyway, enough about that. Let's go ahead and harvest these. And we'll scrap those. And then we're going to also harvest the two sinks. Get the little bit of more scrap, a little bit more scrap brass. And I think we're done down here. Yeah, I don't care about that. All right, let's go upstairs. We'll have to fight a few more Zika Ruskies. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy that we finally found that. Uh, uh, the, eh, that's probably not worth messing with. Uh, that we finally found that... Um, oh, nice. That's a... That is a blueprint. Uh, chassis. What the hell? Accessories. That's what I'm trying to say. Accessories. All right. I think there's usually two Zekers over here. There's one inside the cabinet and then uh, one laying on the floor. So let's wake those suckers up. Was there not a Zeker out here? Guess not. Okay. Sometimes there is. A little more brass there, that's good. Oh, you know what? We missed the we missed the satchel. Let's grab that first. So that's down. Looks like it's down all the way all the way down here. So well, we gotta drop. Uh alright, where Where's this thing at? Oh, probably right here. Nope, not right there. Oh, right here? Aha! Gotcha. <clears throat> lots of, lots of hiding spots in this place too, my goodness. Let's 
Let's just run out here really quick and see if we can spot that drop. Yeah, wherever it went, it's probably on the other side of the lodge, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it. All right, let's go. Right, we're getting a decent amount of brass. That's going always good. Plastic, probably end up chucking that. All right, we usually get uh, some dudes in here. Just you? All right, we'll take that stuff. Let's scrap this. I'm gonna. Can I scrap these? Nope. Uh, I'm not worried about that. I'm gonna get rid of those. Let's get rid of the plastic too. Um, we need to take this, and we could stand to eat something too. So let's go ahead and eat the soup. I'm on the lookout for dog food because I need it to make that uh, Grandpa's Learning Elixir. Uh, we can scrap this too. Okay, let's see here. Continuing on. Sometimes there's a zombie up there too. Medical kit right here. You can tell I've... I'm just looking to see if the drop's out there. Probably It's probably down by now. Um, yeah, I've done, I've done this place a few times now, so I'm starting to get pretty, become pretty familiar with it. scrap a doodle scrap a doodle That will give us electrical parts. Let's go ahead and scrap that too. Puffer coat. Sells for 90. I think, I, I think I have one of these already back at the base. Uh, so I'm just going to scrap that. Well, okay. Let's get the, let's get that first. Yeah, we're, our, our queue is all messed up. You know what? Let's not worry about three electrical parts. All right. Um, I think there's usually a buzzard out here. No buzzard this time, eh? Oh, shit. He's right there. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? Got uh, Hawaii Five O right there. Didn't quite kill him. There we go. Another radiator. Scrap a doodle of those things. Nope. Okay, we don't have room. Not gonna take that. We'll take those. Not gonna take that. All right, there is a weapons bag up here. Nice little collection of ammo. And that's it for this room. Okay, almost done. Come around this side. And we're going to get some resistance in here. So let's go ahead and put our... Oh, we got another nail gun. That's cool. Here they come. Come here, Edgar. Okay. Oh, that's it. We got, we did it. This is the last of the Zekers. Sounds like there's a snake outside. All 
Uh, looks like we know that, so let's scrap it. We'll take those. Uh, I guess I'm just going to use that for now. Because we are so completely and totally out of space here. Um, man, I hate to get rid of two irons, even though we don't technically need them, because we got hundreds. All right, well, let's do this. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna open everything and show you what's in them, and then I'll. Is that the snake? Oh, it's not shooting through this stuff. <laughs> uh, all right, yeah. So let's open these. I'll show you what's in them. And then I'm gonna cut the camera here, and I'll meet you back at the base, and uh, we will go from there. Okay, so we got a blue sledge in there. A poncho. We don't care about that. Ammo food. Uh, okay, I'll get the rest of that later. A blue thing with it. Oh, by the way, I found a, a purple uh, junk turret. Um, actually in this place. Because I looted it first before I started the quest. Oh, there's a compound, but we haven't seen very many of those. That's cool. Okay, and then what do we got in here? Another pistol. Okay. Not, nothing too terribly awesome, but... That sucks. And some beer. All right, guys. Well, that's uh, what I'm going to do is cut the camera here, like I said, and uh, I'll get all this stuff, figure out what I'm going to take back to the base. And I will meet you back at the base. And then uh, there's a couple of uh, things I want to show you. And we've got a whole bunch of items to sell to the trader to make some bucks. And we are getting close to the next level, too. All right. So I'll see you back at the base. All right, guys, I am back at the base, and I got a lot of things to show you, so let's start uh, with this. So I've basically purchased, I think, all of these. I might have found one. I can't remember, but, uh, but I've bought most of these from the trader, and I just wanted to show, uh, consume them on camera. So we got Sniper Volume 2, um, Leg Shots Cripple All But the Strongest Enemies, um, Sniper Volume 3, Headshots Have Chance to Stun and Greater Chance to Dismember, Pistol Pete Volume 2, each successive leg shot on the same target increases chance of cripple by 10%. And then uh, Messiah, Shotgun Messiah Volume 2, uh, we can do breach uh, ammunition. Okay, so that uh, that's our learning stuff. Speaking of which, where are we uh, on, our, on our books? So, the Great Heist. So we're only two books away from... Learn how to craft lockpicks and break the locks 20% faster and have a 10% lower chance to break your lockpick. Yeah, that would actually be nice to have. I, I wonder if this is separate from, you know, the perception lockpicking skill. It'd be interesting to find that one out because it'd be nice to, to be able to make my own lockpicks. Uh, all right, Lucky Looter. Yeah, we're a couple more away on that. Needle and Thread. Night Stalker. That's going to become more valuable to us later. Magnum Enforcer. Batter up. Wasteland Treasures. Yeah, I'd like to get number four, you know, uh, for the mineral water. That'd be nice. Hunter's Journal. Oh, we're pretty close on this one, too. Bears and Coyotes are all we have. Then Harvest More Bones, Meat, and Leather from Animals. So that'll be co come in handy, too. I guess that's, once again, uh, separate from... Uh, the hunting uh, huntsman skill here, which obviously I don't have any points in. And then let's see, archery? No, mining. We're getting close on mining. That's not bad. 20% chance to one shot any ore. Archery's ways to go. Pistol Pete, we're pretty close too. So pistols and SMGs degrade slower, and 9mm weapons have 20% more range when sighted. Okay, good. Um, shot Gun Messiah and Sniper. Ooh, wow. We are one thing away from Sniper. You can craft a ghillie suit. Bulk craft all 762 ammo. Awesome. Okay, yeah, so that that we're going to definitely be on the lookout for uh, Sniper Volume 6. So we're making progress on that. Okay, let's see. What else? Uh, I wanted to show you that I have put points into and will put one more point into farming. Uh, so I went ahead and... Uh, cleared this cornfield off camera and planted a bunch of uh, crop plots as you can see and the farm is growing in fact it looks like the corn's actually ready to harvest in fact most of this stuff's all ready to harvest okay well i'll do that off camera of course uh but basically i've got 
two rows of corn. Uh, planning on having a row and a half of potatoes here. A uh, half a row, meaning, you know, one little section here of pumpkin, a full two rows of chrysanthemum for red tea, uh, two rows of aloe vera, probably just a, a half, a quarter of a row of goldenrod, and I'm not sure what I'm going to put there. And same thing with cotton. Uh, cotton's almost not even necessary, to be honest with you, because uh, you know, I've got so much cloth from looting. Uh, but what I wanted to do is I, I wanted to put these mushrooms down here. I know I can grow these on any surface, so if I got to the point where, you know, I needed the space, I'd I'd take these off and grow them somewhere else. Then we got blueberries and coffee in this uh, last section. So yeah, we're coming along good here. Um, I already have the recipes, you know, for meat stew and tacos and a couple other things. So we'll have we'll, we'll, food's going to be just completely abundant. Uh, we're going to be picking out here uh, very shortly. Now, I am going to put this next point into uh, level four of living out the land so that I can harvest three uh, items from each one of the crops. Um, yeah, okay, so that shows you that. Let's go ahead and head back into the base. Now, what we're going to do is we've got to go do our turn-in to the trader, but I've got a whole mess of stuff that I've been accumulating to sell. We're going to make some serious money, serious money. Uh, but I also have some repairing to do, too. So let's, um, how much did this sell for? You know what? I'm going to just hang on to that. Uh, all right. So let's repair, oh, excuse me, let's repair all this stuff for our inventory that we found. Oh, you know what, too? Let, while we're... While we're at it, while I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and get the 4x4 stuff going, too. So we need uh, steel, mechanical, duct, leather, and electrical. All right. Steel, mechanical, electrical, and it said we needed duct tape. I'm going to have to make more of that because I burned all my duct tape. Uh, making more repair kits. How much duct tape does it say we want? Or does it say we need to have for that? 4x4 four four chassis. 30. Oh, my goodness. All right. I'm going to have to make some glue. All right. You know what? I'll, I'll do this later. I'll do this later. So the next time uh, in the next episode, guys, uh, I will have a 4x4. Four four. So I'm just, I'll just make that off camera. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, we need to... I'm going to... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put stuff in here our normal tools in here just so I don't like you know accidentally sell something I didn't mean to sell okay so yeah let's put let's also put these tools in here too now everything in here is all the stuff I've accumulated for sale. And as you can see, we've got a lot of stuff in here. I went through all of my, you know, weapons, consolidated everything here, and kept, you know, two of the top best uh, of what I had. Uh, same thing for tools. Well, actually, I, did, I guess I didn't really do tools. We got a bunch of extra hammers. Uh, but I did the same thing for armor, too. Um, so, let's see. we got to repair this. I fa actually found this in the car right after I left you guys off camera. Um, we'll get a bunch of money for that. I don't need power tool parts, so yeah, we're we're just going to uh, sell that and make a ton of uh, a ton of butt. <laughs> a buttload of money is what I was trying to say, but I said a ton of butt. Uh, yeah, we're gonna make a ton of butt. Let's repair all this stuff. And um, yeah, I mean, it's probably gonna take me two trips uh, to get all this stuff over there, actually. We do want to make sure, though, that we sell the more valuable pieces first, because I think he, he'll he only buy three things at the most, and sometimes not even that if he's got in stock. Uh, so, let's see. These are all the same level, so we'll grab those. I need to I need to keep one spot open for the, the quest turn in, too. So we'll put all this stuff in here. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and... See what our turn-in uh, reward is first, and we're probably getting close to 
graduated to tier Let four. Speak, survivor. Well earned, traveler. Uh, that's well worth 344, 347. We'll take that. Yep, look at that. Oh, look at that. We got the uh, archery too. Nice. Okay. Um. La oh, geez. What am I going to do? Let's sure. Let's throw that out and take this. All right. 20% uh, greater chance of knocking down the target. Successful sneak attacks. Okay. So where does that put us now with archery? Uh, the, the, the ranger's guide. All right, a little closer, a little closer. All right, now, uh, I have no coinage in my inventory, so... Oh, no, never mind. I take that back. I do have... I have 3,810, because we just got that from the quest. So... They Here, let's do this. Let's put this in the bike. So I don't have to do maths. And um, what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm just going to sell everything I have. Uh, and I'm going to have to make a couple of trips. And then I will show you when we're all finished how much money we just made. What did I just... Oh, I, I picked that thing up. Also, let's take this other fetch and clear job from you too. You the man. And then the next time we come back, uh, or tomorrow rather, uh, we should have tier four. All right, let me get all this stuff sold and I'll show you what I end up with when we're all done. Okay, so uh, we basically made 33,657 dukes uh, off of those sales. He, he, I already sold him uh, all the pistols he wants to buy. So that's a pretty nice little chunk of change. Now, uh, he has also reset, so let's see what he's got. Urban Combat, we're going to buy every book that we can find that we need to learn uh, just so that we can, you know, get all the all the bonuses and all that sort of thing. Uh, let's see what else you got. Okay, that's all you got in your normal stuff. Just take a quick look and see what you got in your... I mean, in your secret stash. Now we're looking for normal. Because we're look, remember, we're looking for dog food because we need that for Grandpa's learning elixir. Um, don't really need any of that stuff. This is all the stuff I sold to him. Okay. Thanks for shopping here. Come so in. that I believe, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up this episode let's go back home before I let you go and see what our total cash amount is I had mentioned in one or two episodes ago that I'll get to the point where I'm gonna have all this money and nothing to spend spend it on let's go ahead and do that right now um but Actually, I got to thinking about that, and what I'm what I'm actually going to be able to do is I'm going to buy forgetting elixirs with all this money, and that way I can you know I can do different respects as needed. So right now we got a two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, um, almost thirteen thousand coin. I mean, no, I'm sorry, I take the back, one hundred and thirty thousand coin. Uh, so you know we can buy three learning elixirs right now uh, just with that money because I, I there's just not really anything else I can think of that the trader is going to have at least on a big ticket item you know that that we would need to buy and so if you know if we spend our money on forgetting elixirs you know we can do some respects and you know for example if I needed to go do a bunch of mining um, I could respec and get all the mining skills and then if we want to go uh, you know, into the city and do looting, then we can respec in the combat skills, and et cetera, et cetera. Because we're just going to get more and more money as time goes on. It's just going to pile up. And so I think the forgetting elixirs are probably the best thing to spend them on. I don't think we can make forgetting elixirs. Yeah. Uh, that's not something the player can make um, in the vanilla game. So, yeah, we're doing pretty good. That's a lot. That's a big chunk of change. So really happy with that. Uh, we did get the next level. In fact, uh, we we almost we got about a fifth of in into the next level from all those sales that we made. And so, like I said, we're gonna for the moment uh, we're gonna take living off the land four, 
So that way I can get three crops. I'm not really worried about doing the mutated seeds. Uh, because I'm not planning on taking fortitude all the way to level 10 anyhow. Um, but so, so yeah, this is as far as I want to take that. Now, what we're going to do is in terms of points, uh, we're going to probably go back and, well, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do to points. We could certainly use a little bit more pain tolerance. Um, you know, that wouldn't hurt in this tree. I really would, wouldn't mind getting the first lock picking skill just so that we can make a stack of lock picks and then just not worry about it if we break them. Infiltrator would be nice because of the fact that we can pierce, you know, we have armor piercing capability with the, or no, I'm sorry, the penetrator uh, would be good. We could, if we took uh, perception, let's see, what does this require? Yeah, if we, if we took perception to level 7, we could max out lucky and salvage, which would be useful for sure. But at some point, I really want to zero in on agility, and we might not even do that at all until until we actually do our first respec. Uh, but that is coming up pretty soon. That is coming up pretty soon. We are about at the point where it's time for us to start tackling uh, that mega city because there's just not a whole lot more that ne we need to do. We've got our base. It's all decorated. It looks cool. We've got our horde base, uh, which is hugely successful. Um, you know, we and we've just graduated to tier four questing. So yeah, we're we're doing we're doing really good. So guys, I think that's it for this episode. And um, when we come back in the next episode, um, not really sure what we'll do. We'll figure something out though. <laughs> we'll figure something out. Um, and go from there. All right, guys, take care. We'll catch you the next time around. Bye bye.